Good morning. We are so glad that you are here. We vlog every day. So if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow. Today, right now, we are headed to a sneak peek ultrasound to learn a little bit more about our little baby. Um, I will be 21 weeks tomorrow. Um, and I'm just like so excited, nervous. <sighs> I'll be there soon. over to me and says, you know, I just haven't taken a sunset pick a city walk in a while. And she just had to step aside and take it. It's looking gorgeous. We might end up at Island's Adventure. So it's like a little after five. Universal Studios is up until seven only. And Island's up until eight. So maybe we'll two park it today. Okay. ET music gives me the feels. And we have not seen this without like a celebration in a while. Diet Universal. All I gotta say, Universal Studios Orlando. Best thing park in the land. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even get it out. I mean, HHN's fun. We love it here. Diagon Alley But fun. like, you guys just know our hearts. Oh my gosh, look at the masses that are leaving right now. <laughs> Tweedledee and Tweedledum themselves. <laughs> Can we go hang out in Harry Potter? Yeah. Is this Harry Potter world? Yeah. We stayed for the parade, it was actually really cute. Oh, and even, why did they have a parade and Disney World doesn't? Why do they have a float for SpongeBob and Secret Life of Pets and they done? don't have areas? My wife cut it. Oh, it looks <laughs> great. Here is Swish and Flick at work. If you're not following them on Instagram, I'll put their handle here. That's just such lovely, I can't even think of the word. Um, Technique. <laughs> so for dinner we got jack and potatoes from like just outside Wizarding World. It's at that little kiosk there. Um, so yeah, they're really good. We have had them before, but we're each getting our own, which is always exciting <laughs> coming to the park. We're gonna eat out by the water. They're still working. Um, and it's a gorgeous night. Ooh, that looks yeah. Is that a loaded? Wow. Yeah, this one's loaded. This one's mine. It's. <laughs> Cheese, bacon, sour cream, and chai. And Peter got shepherd's pie and a strongbow. We spent the first hour in Universal eating jack and potatoes. But look at these Christmas lights. So gorgeous. But we must enter Dagon Alley. You really just miss it? <laughs> Open out the Quidditch store. I really like these keeper shirts that are back there. Wouldn't mind a Hufflepuff keeper shirt. That's kind of cool. Very cool. These scarves are always classic. I can't wait until we start knowing what like our children, what houses our children would be in. What do you think James would be in? Maybe a. Uh, I feel like he'd be a Hufflepuff. Universal just hits so good at night, especially with all of its Christmas decorations up still. Oh, so good, so happy. I wasn't, I wasn't sold. I didn't think there was a 100% chance we'd make it to Universal during this week. But we did. And I am very, very happy. 
We might even double park it. The more we talk to Megan and Katie, the more like it's looking like it will because there's an hour difference. They might take all of Wards Express and I might just run over out and in with James because the stroller's not the best for the Hogwarts Express. Um, I would love a pumpkin fizz tonight. The like, like brick, like decorating and advertising they do in Diagon Alley is just so, so good. Ah. Look at this cute, what is it called? A ginger newt? From? Sugar plums. Sugar plums. Okay, let's see. We're working. <laughs> 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 I ate their head off. It's so yummy. It's like a spicier ginger snap plus icing. So good. They had a disappointing one recently. I, I needed a, re a redeeming ginger new and <laughs> it hit the spot. Go ahead. I'm gonna go steal some, some gold while I'm here in Gringotts. Megan, Katie, and Sarah are gonna eat some cookies while I express pass some Gringotts. This guy is a little bit of a twerp. I love this door in the queue. It's one of my favorite things in all the movies. It was the scene sequence. There you will board a cart for the journey to the vaults beneath the Gring Gods. We'll see you down there. You can clear off now. My patience is running the table. Here we go. This is the very first Universal ride I ever went on in my entire life, and it is awesome. Ah, to come out after it's such a good ride to this Christmassy holiday Diagon Alley. Woo! I am obsessed. What? Look at who's awake. And touching an ornament. Is that allowed? James doesn't even know what he's about to get into. We're, we're power walking over to Islands of Adventure. We didn't want to wait for Hogwarts Express. It was a 60 minute wait, which means even with Express, it'd be a little bit. And our goal is to get into Hogsmeade to get um, a pumpkin fizz. A really good drink you can only get at the Hog's Head, I think, or the Three Broomsticks? Three Broomsticks at Hogsmeade. So that's where we're going, and James is just enamored with all the lights and sounds and all the little kids running around. The adventure begins. Towards the pumpkin fizz. I love coming in parks when the majority of people are, are making a mass exodus and we are making a singular entrance instance. We had to bring him in and show him the Grinch stuff. Are you kidding me? He loves it's the Grinch. Too big. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He says, give me the shirt right now. The hanger? Or just the hanger. <laughs> With 30 minutes to spare, we're entering Hogsmeade 4. James's first ever pumpkin fish! Yeah. Whoa, look at all that Christmas Ooh. stuff in there. All Halloween, Hallows, Holiday Boutique. Oh my word. We need to go in there. What is that? Really? Yeah. <gasps> we gotta go, maybe. <laughs> James is about. Whoa! He knows he's about to have his first pumpkin fizz, the best drink on all the land. Ready? There's not. I can go get one. Oh, Lordy. Was it good though? I will get a straw. <laughs> Alright, so we're in a little secret spot behind three broomsticks, which like nobody's back here, even though it's so busy out front. And the added benefit. We get the awesome Hogwarts show. I mean, a little covered, but hey, Harry Potter. One of the best sound tricks in all the land. Sound tricks? Oh, Gryffindor. Or Huffy? Is that a Huffy? We're watching Hogwarts when we get home. Hog We're watching Harry Potter when we get home. It is. Way past park close. It's like, what, 820? We're locking it down tonight. We're getting some snacks on City Walk because I am hungry. Meg is, you know. I'm indoctrinating him in <laughs> You like them? There are these super cute plush for all of the Hogwarts houses. There's like these more cartoony versions. 
and then like realistic ones. So cute. I don't know, James likes the snakes. Evers, we're home. When did you get to be so big? Mm-hmm. What do you want? Oh. We hope you guys liked the footage at the beginning of today's vlog um, of our newest little baby. Um, I don't think we mentioned this wasn't like a a measuring ultrasound or like medical diagnostic appointment whatsoever. So like literally it was just to look at the baby enjoy just spending time with them as they move around and taking good pictures and videos and um yeah i just i i don't think we mentioned that i will have my like actual anatomy scan when we get back from florida jamesy is snoozing and tomorrow officially starts run disney don't be challenged weekend it's gonna be a different one but yeah. i'm just grateful we're here and um, healthy. Yeah. I also am like wrapping my head around like there's a lot of work stuff I have to deal with between now and the weekend because I'm going to be off the following week for the cruise. Yeah. Um, and just things going on with that. But that's going to be fine. We're going to make some plans. But it's mm -hmm. like. Tomorrow's kind of our like get everything in line day. Yeah. Um, and we'll tell, I, we're going to figure out when and what we're going to tell you about our newest little baby soon. But for today, we're just going to enjoy the sonogram and the heartbeat I did include in the vlog. So, oh, good. so that is there. Good, good, good. And it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.